The Verge. They got the Sonos scoop. Hopefully they're not being trolled and this information is mostly correct. Anyway, they're the first to drop what looks very much like legit marketing material and broader details concerning the super much anticipated Aero 100 and 300 speakers. The release date is reported as late March. Cost, I was expecting worse, 250 for the Aero 100 and 450 for the Aero 300. Both less than the Sonos 5, so not breaking any new cost barriers, which is nice. The Aero 100 looks like the Sonos Move and One had a baby and it grew up. It's a bit rounder and taller than the One, shorter and less oval than the Move. Three Aero 100 improvements over the Sonos One. Bluetooth support, a USB-C port that will support, with the help of an adapter, digital line in and ethernet. So two more methods to get your audio to this device. And a capacitive volume control slider right here. This seems to make an already good control situation even better. As you would expect, you keep AirPlay 2, Sonos voice control, and Alexa support, with supporting microphones. There are some legal issues with Google, so they may lose Google Assistant. High level, definitely a more populist offering and functionality, though the price is eking up if this is a Sonos One replacement. The Aero 100 works as a standalone, stereo pair, and home theater surrounds. Expect compatibility with the Ray, Beam, I'd say Gen 2, and the Arc. But the product you, my regular viewer, is probably more interested in is the Aero 300. Yes, the 300, like the 100, can be a standalone and stereo pair, with the same USB-C input, AirPlay, Alexa, you get the idea. But the Aero 300 is a big old cannonball shot at competitors that Sonos wants to move towards offering a setup that can be seriously considered, not just an impressive sounding, most usable, best lifestyle system, but perhaps king of soundbar systems, particularly in the immersive battle. I've been poking at Sonos for a few years now to release 3D audio oriented rear speakers. What's cool about the Aero 300 is that they didn't do the boring thing, which would have been to just put an upward firing speaker on an existing form factor. Rather, they clearly thought about the problem deeply, giving us a form factor here that's unique, proving a level of effort that exceeds checking a box. It looks like the expanding universe in multiple directions. A double-headed cone. I don't know the technical name, but it's not boring. The Aero 300 is reported to have six drivers that direct sound in four directions. So forward, up, left, and right. I'm not sure what the tweeter distribution is, but I am assuming two drivers in front and top, and one on both sides. It's also unclear to me what the system channel count would be with these speakers. On the conservative side, it would be a 5.1.4, assuming you went for the sub. I don't think the ARC supports more than 5. whatever, but hopefully we'll find out soon. Though I do wonder what kind of special sauce Sonos cooked up for the 300s to make the most use of its four-way firing. Even the Dragon Surrounds only fires in three directions. Expect compatibility with the Beam 2 and Arc at launch. Other tidbits and thoughts. These new speakers will offer what is called quick tuning, aimed at Android that will continue to not support TruePlay. The 300 will be advertised as being especially adept at 3D music. One could imagine a stereo pair would settle in quite nicely in that space. And these speakers are reported to be more repairable, so more screws, less glue. Gonna be a bit of a downer. While the Aero 300 looks to be a player in a king soundbar system, the Arc uh, still doesn't. I think it needs significant enhancements, more drivers. Sonos has discussed that they're entering a new product category this year, which is expected to be headphones and three other new categories in the future. Could this be a commitment for an Uber Arc? Hoping Sonos has been keeping that one closer to the chest and it will be revealed soon to greet the Aero 300. Okay, wrapping this up, thanks for watching. I have this rather humble goal of 20,000 subs by the end of the year, so help out with that if you can. Catch you on the next one.